Hi, you guys, it's Jen. It's nice to be able to visit with you. And it's me, Mom. Don't forget me, Bunny. That's right, Bunny. I could never forget you. That's right, Mom, because I'm real special. That's very true, Bunny. You're very special. But this isn't really about you because I don't have any bunnies. However, I am on Bunny number 98. Eight or 99 I can't remember and when I get to bunny 100 it's gonna be a giveaway so um yeah I will try to work a little faster if I work any slower I'm gonna start going backwards so um I've just been on some different medicine and I've been really tired and stuff but enough about me um, anyway, so Bunny, why don't you go relax and have some tea and I will talk to you or you can talk to our friends after the video. How about that? Okay, Mom. Sure thing. Nice to see you guys. Okay, thank you, Bunny. Um, this is an altered book. Um, it's called God's Good Man, which gave me pause. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I have two sons that are excellent men. So, um, anyway, it's, I thought the cover was beautiful. I loved the scroll work and the lilies and all that stuff, and I didn't want to change it. So, I left it the way it was, and, um, yeah, there is no, nothing done to the cover. Um, inside, oh, and this book is already taken, so, um, yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, um, inside, I got a little doily here with a wooden heart button, and there's some stuff in this pocket. Um, this is, I think that's, um, a bra um, ugh, Lord Byron poem there. And this, I have to set this down for a minute, is a little envelope, um, has, let's see what it has. It has some things in here. A little, life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but by the moments that take our breath away. Maya Angelou said that. This is a um, Tucson Gas and Electric Time Card. I got that from my friend, uh, um, Rose. Uh, yeah, she lives in Tucson. Haven't talked to her for a while, but she's very sweet. Anyway, um, there's also this little card here, little whatever you want to call it. And I just put some cool, um, snippets of conversation on the back. Things that made me feel happy. This says, follow your heart, it knows the way. There's a, I guess that's a daisy, I don't know. And then there's a picture of a lady drinking something. It says, a penny for your thoughts seems a little pricey. So all of this stuff fits in this envelope, which I will put back in a minute. And here is an old picture of a couple of kids and the mom or somebody watching them. Um, yeah, it says Decatur, Illinois, so apparently it was taken somewhere around here, but I don't know who these people are. But I like to put them in my books to keep their memory alive in a way. Um, a friend of mine ha just found a big stack of old pictures in her basement and she um, gave them to me and they are so cool. Um, so I was glad to get those. And here is 1927. This is a piece of vintage ephemera from my friend Angel in Vienna. And this is also some kind of a flower. Um, it's like a little two page thing and it's in German and I cannot read that but it came from my friend Angel as well. And I stuck it in here, and here is a little card. It's got, a mother writes on the heart of her child what the world's rough hand cannot erase. 
and a mother's arms are made of tenderness and children sleep soundly in them and the laughter of a child is the light of a house. Those are three of my favorite mom quotes. So all of that stuff goes in this pocket and I left the first few pages of the book. Um, it says it's a first edition and someone by the name of Sharon Miller owned this book at least at one time. Here's a big blue hydrangea. But I thought, and this is um, um, a na napkin decoupage on this page. And here is a beautiful picture of a fairy. And when you flip it up, um, there's some napkin decoupage on here. And there is something in, in this little, I don't even remember what's in here. Um, but I'm sure it's very important. There's an envelope and there's a paper. And I think I have top secret stuff in there. Can't remember what it was. But if I open everything in here, we'll be here all night. Um, and here is another uh, pocket. I got this material from my friend Corinne uh, in England. Absolutely love it. It's very, I don't even know what it is. Some kind of a gauzy thing, but I love the texture. And there is this little, a beautiful face will age and a perfect body will change, but a beautiful soul will always be a beautiful soul. And that is so true. And there's a bunny and it says, do not follow where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Ralph Waldo Emerson said that. So that goes in here and this is the title page. It has some rub-ons on it. And then this one, oh, those are some old stories that, that he wrote. And this is a simple love story and it's dated 1904. So I wanted to keep the date in here. These pages are very brittle and very old. So um, a pastor named John Walden and his wife, um, I think this is their love story. Anyway, there is a honeycomb napkin decoupage and a bee and there's all kinds of little things in this envelope about bees and all that kind of stuff. I read this thing today that actually made me feel <laughs> kind of sad because it said at night when, when it's getting to be twilight, if you see a bee on a flower, that means it's an old bee that may be sick or just, you know, getting old. And they said if it's still there in the morning, it will take the nectar that it has harvested and go back to the hive, but it doesn't want to trouble the other bees if it should happen to die in the hive at night. And so it said, if you see a bee in twilight on a flower, be sure and thank him for his service. And I just kind of <clears throat> made me choke up a little bit. Anyway, here is, this is just a pin with various uh, pieces of fabric on it. And down here, there's a little bee pocket and a couple little cards. In all things of nature, there is something of the marvelous. And one has a beehive and the other one just has a picture of a bee. So um, somebody sent me uh, stuff with bees on it. Um, that was uh, Kathy Davis sent me that. Um, this is another napkin decoupage with Paris. This is a steampunk page with all kinds of cutouts and chipboard. I also got that from Kathy Davis. She sent me a whole bunch of stuff. You may remember that story. And this says, Fairy tales and secret doors are not only meant for children. They beckon. Never hesitate to have an adventure. So that's good advice. If you're up for an adventure, go for it. I saw a lady on YouTube today that was 76 years old 
and was doing that van life thing, which that's pretty impressive. If you ask me, um, I don't think I could do it, but I think it's marvelous that she did. Anyway, this paper came from my friend Corinne and it's beautiful handmade paper. And then I added some real flower, dried flowers to it. And again, in this envelope is some secret quote message stuff, but I'm not gonna get everything out right now. And here is a napkin decoupage on this page and some old um, advertisements for women's like toilet water and different talcum powders and things like that. And here is another page with, let's see here, a big bunch of stuff. And this, um, let's see, I got lace down here for the pocket. I'm gonna move this down just a little bit so you can see. My desk is a disaster and I am trying to block off all the really bad stuff. Anyway, this is some ephemera. It's like some kind of, I don't know, a time card or something, but it had 1958 on it as the date. And that's the year I was born, which, you know, means I'm really old, but I thought it was cool. And here is a passenger ticket uh, for a train or something. It says, I'm seeking, I'm striving, I'm in it with all my heart. Van Gogh said that. Here is a cabinet card from Tim Holtz. And this is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. It's got a little snippet of the, from the book. And it says, never let them steal your joy. And then I got a bunny stamp on there because I like to always remember Bunny. He's such a good friend. And here is a little, I don't know, is that organza or something? It's a little bag. And uh, our greatest glory consists not in never failing, but in rising every time we fall. That's from Van Gogh. This is uh, the world map and uh, number 15, I don't know what that's for. If I have helped someone enjoy honest, simple pleasures, then I have done a bit of good. And that um, is a nice thing because there is not much good going on in this world that we live in. Sometimes there is, but that's not the stuff that gets, you know, put on the news. And I just feel so bad about the mess that we have going on here and it's very hard but anyway so if you can do a bit of good or share a bit of kindness or send somebody some hugs and good vibes then please do so um this is a page with i don't know what this stuff is it's some kind of a tissue type paper i liked it because it was very um it looked very like weathered and old and stuff and here's a bunch of stickers on a page i this is for all your journaling needs i left space for journaling in this book you know what do you think about that and here is a page it's uh like baking paper but i love the way it sounds it's all crunchy and here is a picture of some kind of flower and here is the second page of the baking paper. Here's a little sticker down here at the bottom with a um, bunny. It looks like she's getting ready to put on her makeup and more, um, more journaling space. I really, I really did it this time, you guys. I left journaling space. And here is a little picture of a mushroom house and on this fairy thing that flips down it says lovely toadstool homes available inquire within and that goes right here and up here and inside this is something oh it's a little folded thing which i think i got this from kathy davis it's real cool and it just unfolds to be just a piece of paper. 
Um, but the whole idea of it is pretty cool. And I wrote all the way around the edge about um, journaling in this book. And in here is some really pretty paper with more, yet more journaling space. You can put secrets and dreams and hopes and, oh my goodness, the possibilities are just endless is, is what I'm telling you here. You can just go on and on and on. Let's see here. I think I can figure this one out. There we go. So now it's all back into its neat little shape, kind of like origami or something. Okay, and here we have a page all about tea. And in here, I got these um, things from my friend Angel in Vienna, and they all hold something. Like this one holds a tea bag and a card about tea. I got this deck of cards. Tells you how to make different kinds of brews for whatever mood you're in. This one's for relaxing. This one's refreshing. And this is another one of those things with just a bunch of happy little phrases on it. So, all of these things go into this first, first little um, pocket. Hang on, hang on. Don't give up on me, people. I'm gonna get it. Yep, you just have to persevere sometimes. And the second one is got this little cute booklet in it. it says tea and there's a little mouse having a cup of tea and then you open it up and it says though i cannot flee the world of corruption i can prepare tea with water from a mountain stream and put my heart to rest so i thought that was sweet because you know if you can't get out of this mess of a world that we're in then just do something that is relaxing and calming for yourself. And here is like a little um, advertisement for a cough syrup for kids. And here's another Alice's Adventures in Wonderland card. Come, let's have biscuits and tea and see if we can make this world a better place. So we, we all need to work on that better place thing. Yeah, if you know what I mean. And the next page. Oh, this is so cute. We've got this little guy here taking a picture. I got this from my friend Michelle Michelle Mulligan. Michelle Mulligan. Um, she sent that first me in in a swap that we did one time. And I just thought it was so cute. And I was saving it for something special. And it worked in this book. And on here, um, it says, he was charming. That was my boy. And it says, of all the animals, the boy is the most unmanageable. But you can't get him out of your heart. And I thought that was very cute. And here is a card. It says, let me see, said fairy lady. Um, this also came from Kathy Davis in that huge box of stuff she gave me. And, um, there is a beautiful fairy inside. And then this, you open like this, and there is a bunch of stuff in the envelope with different kinds of quotes and special things. And this, oh, this is... There's a pocket behind it. It's uh, about the fairies having a dance at the bottom of the garden. And that goes in there behind this page. And let's see what else we have. Um, oh, this is cute. This is just a little girl looking at a rose. And in here, let's see. I'm sure it's something amazing. Let me see here. There's a garden in every childhood, an enchanted place where colors are brighter, the air softer, and the morning more fragrant than ever again. And that goes 
right up here under this paper clip and I put a little bit of um, seam binding on it on the paper clip to make it just so attractive. And here is bunnies. And this is a whole quote about different kinds of bunnies and always believe that something wonderful is about to happen. And above all, watch with glittering eyes the whole world around you because the greatest secrets are always hidden in the most unlikely place. Those who don't believe in magic will never find it. And then you lift this out. Lift this out. That doesn't make sense, but you know what I mean. And there are some different things in here. Um, little, you know, little special things. And let me see here. It's got a little, it had a kink in it, but don't worry, it's all been fixed. And here is a page with a whole bunch of um, um, dried flowers. And then I put, this is um, like from a sewing pattern. I just decoupaged it over the top. And then all of these things. Won't you come into my garden? I would like my flowers to meet you. And this is the secret garden. And this is... Leave room in your garden for the fairies to dance. So those all just hang down from some twine. And this is the last page. And it has a big... Um, lace pocket and it also has a poem from Lord Byron excuse me here's a bunny never stop searching for magic and let's see this is pretty um, have no idea what it is something from Switzerland uh, let me play in the sunshine. Let me dance in the rain. Let me sing for joy and remember the days of my childhood forever. And there's plenty of room for extra journaling. And here is Never Lose Your Sparkle. And this one is left blank. And here is another old picture of two ladies and a gentleman Sitting by a car outside, it's funny how they always look, you know, so much more dressed up. I mean, the ladies have hats and sometimes gloves, and the men always have, like, a hat and a tie, and, yeah, times have changed a lot since then. Anyway, and that's the end of the book. So, um, like I said, it's already, um, take, you know, it's already been taken, and so... But I haven't talked to you guys for so long. Yeah, it has been real long. And I had a few health issues that I'm trying to get over. But I'm feeling better now. And I just wanted to, even if it's not for sale, I like to show things. Because sometimes, you know, if you like it, then I like to know that. And I'll make another one like that. Or if you don't really like it, then I'll do something different, you know. I just like to, to get your input. So, anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. And um, I hope you guys have a wonderful week, too. And don't forget me because I am real important. And Mom's going to have a giveaway. And she's on bunny number 99. So, it's only one more bunny and then the giveaway. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh, Bunny's so excited. Woohoo! You bet I am, Mom. I'm real excited. Real excited. Okay, well, I'm going to have to give Bunny one of those calming tea recipes that I got. And you guys have a wonderful day. I love you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.